Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we are going to do... Let's do Aperture, KF1 Aperture. I like this map, this is one of the ones that I played the most in KF1. Um, when I was uh, initially starting out playing it. Uh, no, it's not. This feels a little bit different. Hello, Manu. I don't remember people talking to me. Remember those things I sold you? I'm not sure if they work. Good luck. Can I leave? Well, How do I? It's been fun. Enjoy that thing you do. You know, dying. How do I? If you survive, I'll be waiting. What is going I'm on? Joking. You won't survive. Do I have to solve something here, or am I just? I'll be observing you. They're coming. Hello. Let's get this over with. Yeah, can I leave, please? Hello. What were they cooking up here? Okay, I don't know what that was about, but this feels more like what I'm used to. The shoot in real time perk thing is pretty good, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, yeah, but you already shoot pretty quickly in, uh, in Z time, honestly. The recoil is starting to be, I mean, the recoil on this was never too bad anyway. Oh, no, we're going to have to bash you over there. It should be like a door that's welded. I wonder if they were able to implement that into the map here. Like the infinite weld door with the achievement behind it or whatever. I wonder if you can set like how much weld you need on a thing in the map. Three shots. I think it might have been three shots anyway. Oh, come on. I want to smack you in the face, smack you in the face, smack you in the face. Come on, smack you in the face. There we go. Oh yeah, classic trader. Hello there. Mm, love her. Uh, so we're going to go for the, uh, the deagles, of course. And let's go run around the map a little bit. See what we got. My worst subject. All right, there should be like a big open area right down here, is it? Not this one. Right down here, right? Yeah. I remember kiting through here so many times. The recoil is getting a little bit more manageable, although still very, very bad, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I did like a lot of camping up here, I think. As well, maybe. We're going this way. I don't like you cloakers. I remember being, uh, some of the, I think this was the first map I played as a demo on too. Uh, so I remember having like a RPG or something. No, it would have been like an M32, I think. Like the grenade launcher, not the rocket propelled grenade launcher, but... And I remember shooting it up there all the time. We almost got our first, uh, like, skill. So that's pretty cool, right? The recoil is amazing. Any of this. Okay, we just have to get somewhere where I can start to see something, because right now I cannot see 
and being able to see is actually one of the like most beneficial things you can do in uh, in KF2. Is just seeing what's around you and being able to respond to it. And when you're all covered in goop like that, you can't, and it's really frustrating. I used to play so much Portal One. I speed ran it. I speed ran. I was a speed runner. I don't know. I, I don't know how to say that properly. Okay. I, uh, I did do lots of runs of it, though. I was getting it down to about 12 minutes, I think, towards the end. And that was when the world record was close to 12 minutes. So I was, uh... Yeah, this, this door right here, I believe, has, like, a huge weld on it, right? Oh, yeah, they did it. Cool. The only time I ever opened that was when I was uh, playing solo, actually. Because I could never find a team who would want to do it. So I ended up, like, having to kite around as one clot all over the map and then run back, weld off, like, a bit, a, a bit, a bit of it. And then, um... Oh my god, I hate these guys so much. Weld off a bit of it and then, like, kite the clot around the map again and repeat the process, like, endlessly. Should not be allowed to live, okay? Ah. It's so much harder on uh, on a lower level perk. You get carried so hard as a as gunslinger. Just by the, the skills that you have access to. They are so good. I think we can watch out these guys not in the face map. That's really good, actually. Yeah, that actually opened something, right? Hello? I cannot, for the life of me managed to shoot this guy in the face. I think it's parry. Can we can we go through here? No you can't. Good enough. What level is rack him up on this perk? I know that on sharpshooter is 15, right? I forget what's inside the the door. Is it just like a cake or something? Why can you just shoot through there? How's that fair at all, hey? Cool. Let's get to the trader. I think we're going to go for the AF 2011s instead of upgrading it. Uh, and then on the next wave, we will upgrade just so that we definitely have enough ammunition to make it through the um, the wave. Because we ran a little bit low on that one. And it wasn't because we weren't able to do the damage, but because I wasn't able to shoot them. Just the, the accuracy required for... Is too high. Too much accuracy required. Uh, so we're going to get this. Also get some armor. And then on the next wave, we'll be able to get... The decals upgraded the rest of the way. Probably in the next one. Definitely by the boss wave. Uh, and then we can... Yeah, this opens up like a door up here, right? Hello! Kind of wasn't expecting you to just pop out right in front of me, you know? Pretty good uh, scrape takedown, I think. You know, I've had better, but for a level 4 on Suicidal... Doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Oh. Why don't you bounce through the door? Uh, we are going to have to fall. I believe. No, we can go through here, actually. Oh, yeah. I remember this spot. <laughs> I killed uh, Patty here once. Like, literally once. It, it, it happened once. Uh, we want 
Reduce weapon bob. And movement speed penalty? No, we want reduce recoil penalty, right? I think that's what I want. Yeah, movement speed, switch weapons, and uh, the recoil. This cat's back in the game. Well. That's good. I fought Patty here more than once, but I only killed him here once. It was on uh, a team full of uh, demos, and we had like a whole bunch of C4 lined up in here. Uh, he's coming up from over here. Gotta be ready for him. in a bad camping spot though get some small zeds popping up from there but for the most part pretty good as long as I can actually kill things as they come you know that's really the prerequisite for uh, for any kind of camp spot you know No, we just have to spray. We have to spray. I'm out. <laughs> See ya. This recoil is really messing me. On the AF-2011s, it's honestly pretty um, acceptable. But on the uh, on the on the Deagles, it is insanely, insanely overkill. I mean, it has to be, right? Because you want to still have some recoil even when you're level 25 that you have to adjust for. And in order for that to happen at all, you, you have to have it start out with a lot of recoil. Like, I get it, but... Man. It's rough. Now we do get the, uh, the level 5 perks now, I believe. So maybe that'll make a difference. Maybe. We'll see. What do we get at level 10? Is that rack them up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Level 10's good. Uh, this is also really, really nice. So hopefully, uh... Hopefully it's not Patty or Maddie. On this map, it should be a little bit easier at least. Should be right there. Right? Yeah, like look at that repo. That is fine repo. See ya. Not getting shot by you. Not today. Or at least not right now. Are we going to be able to get him? We're not far off. Yeah, he's right here. What are, you, what are you supposed to do there? I didn't jump off the ledge. The crawler pushed me off, and then, uh, completely surrounded by crawlers. Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do there, then. I was hoping we'd be able to, like, prestige and then continue winning, but, uh, that's rough. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, get subscribed to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.